Hey guys, Silent Screams here. Sorry I deleted my fourth video. Wow. I kind of had to for uh, reasons that I shall not say. Anyways, I thought I'd show off some more of my old trashy art. Which is not that different from my art now, I guess. Honestly, this is probably one of the best drawings I've ever done. As far as drawing people. <clears throat> I thought I'd just... In my head... Just from my head, uh, make up a story. Scary story to tell you guys. Just so you guys know, I do not go off of scripts or anything. I don't like those. They're kind of... Retarded and, uh... Or to me, they are. To other people, they're like, must have script, cannot mess up video. That's, that's not me. This was actually, uh, an OC that I made. My OCs, they kind of, like, evolve. So this was kind of, this was, like, the second, f uh time I changed the second time I changed my OC it looked like this and then I was drawing a girlfriend for a fender man because my friend would always want to uh, do creepy pastoral plays and I didn't want to get raped by a fender man so yep made him a girlfriend okay so yeah okay here we go the night was cold and wet, like any other rainy night. The sky was filled with scary clouds. They looked like faces. I don't know why. All I knew was I was in bed sleeping with my dog by my side. And then the loudest strike of Lightning and thunder hit my house, setting it on fire. I woke up to the smell of smoke and my mom screaming. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was going on. I rushed out of bed, tripping on my dog, falling and waking him. Me and my dog quickly got up and rushed to where my mom's screams were coming from. She was in the kitchen. It looked like she was trying to make my favorite snack. Chocolate chip cookies. I only liked them when she made them. She was on fire. I couldn't get to her. The entire kitchen was on fire. It was so horrible, so scary. In a matter of seconds, me and my dog, Carl, were surrounded by fire. I didn't know what to do. So I did nothing. Me and my dog burned. And then... The scariest man appeared. He had horns like a demon, but looked like a man. His eyes, blood red, filled with the look of satisfaction and joy. He dropped something green into the fire, and then I passed out. I woke up. I was in the hospital. I frantically got up and started looking for my dog and my mother, but they were nowhere to be seen. And then a nurse rushed, rushed into the room. She pushed me back onto the bed told me to relax, everything's okay. 
I asked her what happened, and she said, Your house was on fire. Your mom died in the fire, but your dog's okay. He's out of it right now. I asked her if I could get up to and use the bathroom. She said sure, and helped me up and over to the bathroom. I went in alone though, because I liked my privacy, as always. I looked into the mirror. I saw not myself. I saw a girl with a large cut on her face. Taking out a chunk of my cheek. I saw a girl with not straight hair, but fluffy, mangled, untamed hair. And I lifted my shirt, my stomach was full of scars, burns, cuts, scratches, and other stuff the like. I almost vomited at the sight of my own reflection, so I rushed out the bathroom and tried to forget what I saw in the mirror. A few months later, I got my dog back, but Carl didn't quite look like my dog anymore. Carl's eyelids were burnt off, and so was the skin hiding his teeth. His ears were no longer big, fluffy ovals. There were now long, sharp triangles. And there was just something disturbing about how distorted his body was. But I didn't care. He was still my dog. I loved him for all the times that he protected me. And all the things that we had been through. One day while I was walking through the forest, because I usually do that, the forest is calming birds, the nature, but that day it was disturbingly quiet. I started getting worried. I thought that there was something wrong. I thought maybe I wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe there were hunters here hunting something, but that's not what I heard a voice, a drunk, drunken, high voice, with a very low pitch, saying, Hey girly, how about you come over here? So I turned around. I saw a tall man. Shirt ripped, tight pants, messy hair, and you can just smell the alcohol from miles and miles away. I didn't know how he wasn't in jail already. Maybe it's because he was in the woods. He tried to get close. So he could catch me and do awful things to me. But then Carl did something that I never thought anything could ever do unless it was in 
a fake horror movie or something. But he, it, he extended his body. He stretched it out to, to disturbing and grotesque lengths. I was horrified, but it was my dog. And at that moment, he protected me yet again. And then the man pulled out a knife, stabbing and stabbed Carl in the head. At that moment, I snapped. I thought, how dare you hurt my dog? How dare you hurt the only thing I have left? And I killed him. I didn't regret it. And from that day on, I killed disgusting, vile people who would hurt the in most innocent and kindest. And I never regretted it.